Welcome to EA40, and here we are just in the driveway. Now, if you are familiar with the channel and you've been following things for the past couple of days, you'll know that behind me is my 2008 Saab 95 Aero Sport Combi, a recent acquisition that I got, and it was very well sorted, and I got it for a really good price. However, some things have been wrong with the car. I'm not going to go over like five things I hate about the car. Instead, I'm going to mention things that are basically broken on the car or things that I kind of need to improve. So I'm going to give you guys a quick walk around and point out some things that are kind of obvious and even a few things that may not be so obvious that I need to get addressed on this car and kind of get it dialed in, if you will. Now, I'm going to admit not everything on this list is something that truly bothers me about the car. I mean, some things are probably just going to stay there. However, there are a few other things that I would rather get addressed and you'll see them as I go around the car. I'm going to do a bit of a tripod standing here thing and I'm gonna also hold the camera as I'm walking around. Without further ado, let me stop rambling on and show you the first thing. From a distance here on the front, things don't look too bad. Obviously there are some bug splatters and stuff. I'll just have to get that cleaned off. And the bottom, you can tell that it gets a little bit scraped up. That's just stuff that goes on over the years. But the first obvious thing we're gonna point out is a bit of a crack in this front bumper. So that's unfortunately a thing. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna end up getting addressed or not because uh, it'll probably require some work and it's just not all that high on the list of priorities. Bit of scratching and stuff here. I don't know what would have caused all of this. Next, we have this front left fender. And the first thing I'm gonna point out, there's a little bit of rust forming here. I don't know why, uh, but we're gonna have to get that sorted out. I know that I have to get a front left fender in, I forget what color code it's gonna be on the screen. So I'm gonna have that for this and then also for this here. So basically the metal is a bit like dented and there's a bit of creasing to it. So I was told by one person who doesn't do body work, but uh, he knows these cars pretty well. He says that because of the creasing, we won't be able to do paintless dent repair that would look perfect on it. So in terms of pricing, we could just get a whole new front left fender here that would address both the rust and this creasing and everything here. Also, I don't know how much paintless dent repair would actually cost on something like this, so we're gonna have to see. But I'm ideally leaning towards a new fender. Moving along from the fender and whoa, we can see a little bit of a difference in the color on the mirror. This is a completely different gray color and yeah, it just does not fit with the car. I actually bought it like this and the previous owner also bought the car with that as well as this fender issue over here. So we need to get a new mirror housing and that is a little bit more complicated than you'd think and I'm going to show why once we get to the interior. The overall side profile of this car is pretty good so not too much else to say here. Although I guess we could point out a little bit of marking here or something like that. That is really low on the priority list. In fact, I'm really only noticing it now that I'm holding the camera and filming. But if we go over to the back, we're going to see a few things. First of all, this rear bumper has kind of seen better days. So I would like to try and get like some sort of almost respray on it or touch ups or something just to get it in a little bit better condition. I think it would just look nicer if it was in better condition. I guess while we're at it as well, clean off the exhaust pipe, but that's not very high on the priority list either. One issue I did notice as I was inspecting the car before purchase was through the Tech 2 where there was a fault with this parking sensor. And in fact, as I was parking the car up to to basically put it here on video, this error came up. So yeah, basically there must be some wiring fault or something, but this sensor isn't always working and sometimes that takes the whole system down with it. So we're gonna have to get that addressed, especially because I'm not the only one who drives this car and I just want it to work so that whoever else is driving it will end up having a working park assist system. Moving on a little more now, love the aero badge. Don't love this so much. So this is a bit of like a dent or crease or something. This should be more feasible to get with paintless dent repair and it should look much better uh, however I do hate seeing that so we're gonna have to get that addressed this right rear tail lamp I guess there's a bit of like small stress cracks or something in it if you can see on camera uh, I don't know if we're gonna get that addressed or not I have some other things I wanted to do with these tail lights that you're gonna see in another video looking at this side here you'll see it doesn't look so bad except it kind of does and that has to do with 
this area right here i don't know if the previous owner not the one i bought the car from but the one before that i don't know if that owner ended up hitting something or something like that so we have this to worry about it is rusting a little bit underneath the surface as well i put an endoscope in it as i was inspecting the car and i saw that so that could have to be addressed at some point uh we have this door here has some of the scratches it applies a little bit as well to this door over here however it's not so big on this door and you can see some of it of course on this side skirt so i don't know what exactly we're gonna do um i've been looking into getting some parts for this same color and car and everything i don't know how this part's gonna get addressed very well because it's gonna involve a little bit more work either if we want to get the whole different panel put on here or if we want to get this repaired with bondo and stuff like that maybe we could get a new side skirt or something maybe we'll end up getting a new door here we're not entirely sure it does kind of suck to see it we did use this to knock down some of the pricing but yeah it kind of sucks to see that looking briefly at the wheels you do see that there is some curb rash on these wheels it's not super high on the priority list I expected it to have some curb rashing anyway but that is something that has to be addressed also there's a little bit of creasing right here for some reason I don't know why but that is there maybe we'll get it addressed maybe not remember this car is a 2008 it's not exactly the newest I'm just quickly standing off to the side here to point out the lighting everything seems to be working for the most part here however when I was inspecting the car we did notice a little bit of a flicker in the xenon lights so we're gonna have to get that checked out i don't know if it had to do with just adjusting the switch or maybe it just could be a switch issue because it hasn't flickered ever since we drove the car or anything like that during the inspection however it is something that i'm a little bit mindful of keep in mind xenon lights as well they're not all that cheap and they are trickier to repair especially compared to did they just flash I think they just did and that was not scripted or anything they're not all that cheap and they are trickier to repair especially compared to did they just flash i think they just did and that was not scripted or anything so that's something that's definitely going to have to be addressed and i've looked into different things that i could be doing one thing i've even wanted to do that i was going to talk about in a separate video was basically doing custom headlights and kind of designing some myself in a way so it would involve getting a new set of headlights completely like a new housing and everything i'd have to probably find a set from europe or something like that because i also want the flash to pass enabled on here it's not on us spec cars so i would like to get that but uh that's going to be a whole separate video but that's an issue that we're going to have to address possibly the xenon lights and replacing the lights in them anyway enough rambling on about that let me show you guys some of the issues inside of it. first thing i want to address is related to the mirrors here because i mentioned how they're a completely different color well if we look inside we're gonna see there's a power folding mirror option however these mirrors that are currently on the car don't have power folding and that's unfortunate so we're gonna have to look into getting that put back on i'm not sure if a previous owner decided to retrofit power folding mirrors maybe getting parts from europe or something or if it came from the factory like that i know in the u.s it was pretty rare to have these come with power folding mirrors from the factory regardless that is something i would like to get checked out so whenever i do get new silver mirrors for this car i would like them to have the power folding option as well the instrument cluster here is pretty well sorted no warning lights or anything right now the car is off i don't need it idling or anything but there's the issue with the fuel gauge because there is a sensor that's not properly working and for most of the time that i've driven this car ever since purchasing it it has shown that it is on empty even though i just filled it up not long ago so i'm having to rely on the trip computer to know how many miles i've driven around 300 miles is when i know it is time to fill up with more fuel so that's something that i got to get addressed you might have to drop the fuel tank in order to address that issue and clean or fix that sensor i'm not entirely sure if you know how to do it let me know down below i just haven't fully researched it yet but i would like to get that addressed moving on ever so slightly there is the cup holder here which a lot of people say that their cup holders break this one is no exception it's not fully working it does seem to come down as you can tell but there is more that's supposed to be attached to it so you can actually hold a bottle in here which you can't do right now this is an issue i could get sorted relatively quickly because i do have a spare cup holder here the previous owner did want to put it in however you have to take apart the whole dash in order to do that 
And if you're gonna take apart the whole dash, you might as well do it to also address this. This is what's known as the Jalassi. I believe that's how it's pronounced, and it's basically the cover for the gear selector here. It's completely fallen out. It's kind of common for it to happen on these cars. In fact, the other Saab, right over there part of that has fallen out as well so we're gonna get it replaced i was told that you kind of have to take off a lot like this panel this panel and everything to do it all at once so eventually i'm gonna get to that so everything with the interior is pretty well sorted however one interesting thing is related to this aux port here yes it is nice that this car has an aux port as opposed to the tape deck that that car has however a big issue is that this radio is basically 2005 below sort of depending on how you look at the development cycle and around then people didn't use smartphones they had mp3 players so what gm did at the time was they had a resistor installed somewhere in this unit and basically that resistor would limit the input and output to kind of protect the mp3 player and make sure that the sound was relatively normal however that doesn't work so well on today's modern smartphones so eventually i'm gonna have to take this apart and do a little bit of soldering to remove that resistor and then the audio that comes from my phone into the head unit should be a little bit more normal. Currently, I use a CD-based smartphone mount. However, this mount doesn't work very well and it does restrict movement of the volume button. I would like to have a separate mount that maybe goes like right here or something. So if you guys know what I could use for that, please let me know. But otherwise, the interior is in pretty good working order and a lot of the fit and finish, it is better than the fit and finish on the 2017 Lincoln MKT that we have that some of you guys roasted me about earlier. It says a lot that a car that's about nine years older has better fit and finish in a way, but we're gonna talk about that another time. So there are actually a few other things that I forgot to mention that require attention on this car. Looking around it, most of it is fine. Uh, one thing though, this gas thing here. So I did notice one time that I was filling up that the car was unlocked, but the gas thing opener was not unlocking. So I had to basically pry it open. That needs to get looked at. And then also the fill up, I'm not entirely sure what the issue is. It might have to do with where I am filling up, but basically the sensor for the nozzle was not quite reading properly. And it thought that the car had more fuel in it than it really did. Now that could be down to the gas pump itself. I did also happen to notice the same issue happened with that car though so i am thinking it's the gas pump however that is a big issue on this car because the fuel sending unit isn't fully working properly so that is a bit of a problem currently the brakes do have to be bled on this car so we're gonna have to take care of that and then at some point i am gonna upgrade the brakes anyway when the parking sensors do work they're not really as sensitive as they should be and then oftentimes they just don't work either so i'm gonna have to sort out what the wiring issue is with that or if a sensor just needs to be replaced entirely with the headlights my plan is is to get a European set of headlights on here. But I did notice that there could be a ballast issue because at one point the auto leveling light ended up showing up on the dashboard showing that there could be an issue with like the ballasts or something like that. So I do have to get that sorted out quickly. Um, I haven't noticed too much more flickering. I've noticed it once since I've been driving it over the past few weeks. However, I haven't noticed much more than that. But the leveling issue is a concern. I'm probably gonna be getting a European set of headlights to go in here anyway so that I also have past the flash here on the inside some of these lights may not be bright enough so I might have to put new lights in here the sunroof opens and closes and everything but it is a little bit slow so I have to figure out why that's the case here in the trunk, I do need a new trunk cover because this trunk cover for the Honda Pilot, uh, yeah, it ends up kind of restricting the closing of this. So there have been a few times where like someone else ends up closing the trunk because of like contactless delivery or something like that. And I end up driving and I realize, wait a minute, the tailgate isn't fully closed. Luckily that isn't too hard to fix. All I need is a new trunk for covering. But if you guys happen to know one for one of these Saab 95s, please let me know. I'd love to get rid of this and put a real one in instead. One other little quirk that actually has nothing Thing to do with an issue related to the car is that front ramps don't always fit on these because the front end is actually surprisingly low on this car. So when we were inspecting it, we actually had to back it up from the rear because it just wouldn't clear the front. So that was something that was just kind of interesting. However, that hopefully shows you guys everything that's actually wrong with the car. In a separate video, I'm gonna go over things that I would like to do to the car and have some other things addressed that aren't really that big of a deal, but I would like to do more so because it's my own thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on another video.